In a prior video, we showed you the free programs that should never be installed on any PC. After receiving many requests from viewers, they want to know about the mobile apps for iOS and Android that could cause more harm than good. So coming up, we'll share with you the free apps we believe should never be installed on any phone. We'll let you know what those apps are and for a variety of reasons why we don't like or trust them. Let's get to it. First up is Zoom. This video communication service, which gained in popularity when people were forced to work from home, has suffered from numerous privacy and security issues over the last few years, which I've detailed in other videos. Earlier this year, Zoom got caught by the hacker news of updating their terms and service, allowing the company to train its AI models using customer data with no way to opt out, causing outrage across the internet. While Zoom has since backtracked a small bit over the backlash, it's surely a company that cannot be trusted and should not be on any device. CamScanner is a Chinese mobile app that we no longer trust with over 100 million downloads. It allows users to scan documents by taking a photo with their phone's camera and share it as a JPEG or PDF. A few years ago, it was discovered that their app for Android had a malicious Trojan dropper controlled by hackers showing users intrusive advertising and signing them up for paid subscriptions. According to CamScanner, they've since removed the malicious code. Regular viewers, don't fall out of your chairs. If you want an alternative to CamScanner, this is one of those rare times we'd recommend something from Adobe. Available for Android and iOS is Adobe Scan. It's actually a superior product to CamScanner with no ads. Ring, which is owned by Amazon, is a maker of doorbells, cameras, and other products. Their app is a privacy nightmare, allowing third-party trackers that disseminate IP addresses, names, mobile networks, identifiers, and sensor data to marketing and analytics companies. Surprisingly, Google's app for the Nest products does not have any third-party tracking. In addition, earlier this year, Ring had to pay a $5.8 million fine to the FTC for allowing any employee or contractor to access customers' private videos and for failing to implement basic privacy and security protections, allowing hackers to take control of customers' accounts, cameras, and videos. As mentioned in our free programs that should never be on any PC video, LastPass Password Manager is another app and company to avoid. In August and November of last year, LastPass, whose sole purpose is to keep their users' data safe, suffered two security breaches with hackers stealing a copy of their customer database and some copies of their customer's password vault. The Opera browser, at one time, used to be one of our favorite browsers. Now Chinese-owned, with the founders no longer at the company, it's in desperation mode to become relevant again, failing miserably. For example, they claim to have a free built-in VPN, which actually is just a free proxy. A real VPN will encrypt your data using the best encryption available and with strict protocols. Opera's so-called VPN does not. The true successor to the innovative good old days of Opera is Vivaldi. It was founded by one of the co-founders of Opera and now has apps available for both Android and iOS. Camera Plus for iOS only is a popular photography app with a high number of features. It requires a lot of processing power, making your phone run less efficiently and is battery intensive. You may find you're better off using the built-in photography features of the iPhone instead. This one might trigger some of you, my apologies, but it's a no-brainer if you're informed. Next up is the video sharing social network, TikTok. This Beijing-based company, owned by ByteDance, has gained in popularity over the last few years. There are real privacy concerns that could put users at risk. Not to fearmonger, the fact is their privacy policies make Google, Amazon, Facebook, and other tech companies look good in comparison. And that's saying a lot. The TikTok app can also monitor keystrokes to record what you type even when you're not in the app and can listen to you through your phone's microphone without your permission. With over half a billion downloads, Truecaller is a popular app to identify callers and block spam. This app that attempts to stop people from spamming you actually makes it easier to spam people. Using this app, it gains access to information about you and everyone else in your contact list. This information stays in the Truecaller database even when you delete your account. CCleaner is a utility to clean potentially unwanted files and invalid registry items on PC and also has an app for Android. 
It's had numerous issues over the last several years on the PC side with system data collection, active monitoring, and bundling additional software into its products without the user's permission. Being no longer trusted, there is no way we'd ever install it on a phone. DoorDash is the largest online food ordering and delivery service who's had multiple issues over the years, including a data breach in 2019 affecting 4.9 million customers. Why we would never use the app is according to an investigation earlier this year, it was revealed that it automatically sends your data to nine separate third-party trackers. Some collect information about your phone, including personal information about you. In addition, Google and Facebook's ad trackers know every time you're using the app. uTorrent is a BitTorrent client on PC with an app for Android that lets users download and share files. This one goes in the category of having so many issues on the PC side that it can no longer be trusted even for Android. Some of those issues include installing adware, secretly installing a crypto miner, and many others. WeChat is a Chinese messaging app developed by Tencent. One of its main problems is it does not offer end-to-end -end encryption. In addition to its invasive privacy issues and security flaws, it's had many other issues over the years, leading to it being banned in India. It's also banned in Canada on all government devices. Last year, the Office of the United States Trade Representative added WeChat's e-commerce ecosystem to its list of notorious markets for counterfeiting and piracy. ShareIt is a peer-to-peer file-sharing, content streaming, and gaming platform that supports online and offline sharing of files and contents. It was originally developed as part of Lenovo prior to being spun off. When it was part of Lenovo, ShareIt's hard-coded password was 12345678 that could be easily exploited by anyone simply guessing the password. That's just dumb. It's since had multiple vulnerabilities that have apparently been fixed that could lead to data theft, arbitrary code execution, and installation of malware. Also from our free programs that should never be on any PC video is Ola VPN. This terrible app is used by people to access domains that would otherwise be blocked. But that's not their problem. In summary, these clowns made CloudWord's list of worst free VPNs. A couple of its problems include logging of user data, and by using it, you consent to being part of a botnet where your bandwidth is shared with other users unless you upgrade to their premium plan. After being removed from the Google Play Store, it's sadly no longer available on Android. But if you're a lucky iPhone owner, you can still get it for iOS. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Let us know in the comment section the free mobile apps you would recommend for others not to use and your reasons why. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date with our latest software videos and other tech-related stuff.